This video is to go over building Java programs, self-check 10.8. This is about array lists. And in this case, we want to get the maximum length string in this array list of strings. So the first thing I'm going to show you is that this problem is extremely similar to this problem, self-check 7.10. In this case, they were using arrays, and they were looking for the maximum value of an array of integers. But this code right here is the exact same logic. So you should take a look at that and figure out how to apply that logic. The only difference here is that we have to figure out how to do it with array lists. So it's going to be the same kind of thing. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to write all the code for you. I'm just going to show you the two different ways that you can iterate through these strings and then um, uh, take a look at them. So I'm going to write the first way, which is using a regular for loop. So for int index equals 0, while well, the index is less than the list.size and then index plus plus. And note that this uh, this is size and not length, which is a little bit confusing. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a string s equals list.get index. So instead of using the square brackets for an array, we're using dot get. And I'll show you why I'm doing that string in just a minute. And then I'm just going to do a system out of, we'll actually do a formatted uh, length of percent s equals percent d and then I'm going to print out s and then s dot length all right so this is not going to meet the products uh, the, the problems criteria oh yeah and I just got to return I'm just going to return something okay <clears throat> but it'll show you that what here's the input strings to be or not to be so it's it's gone through and it's it's iterating through these things that's getting the length okay uh, that's one way to do it the other way to do it is let me comment out these two lines and you'll see how much simpler this looks for and this is a for each loop so for string s in list so what that's going to do is it's going to do the exact same thing as this code here but it looks a bit simpler doesn't it we'll run that again uh, oh I just have to get rid of this as well and so it's going to be the exact same thing so you can choose which one you want to use now the difference between whether you want to use one versus the other is if you ever need the index of the item that you're looking at you can't use this format here okay so this is great for iterating through arrays if you just want to get the values it's not going to work if you need the indices okay so if Let's say for some reason you were storing the index. Well, that's a good example, actually. You could, if you had to return the index of the string that was the longest string, you couldn't do it this way. You would have to go back to doing it this way. All right, then to complete the rest of the problem, you're just going to do the same thing as you did here. You have to have an initial value. In this case, uh, we were using the value, but in, in our case, they're actually strings. So what's the minimum length string? Then you're going to do that loop over the items. You're going to use this same kind of min max value check here. And then you have to return that value there. So that should be more than enough to get you started. The main thing, what we've learned from this problem is we just got some experience in iterating through an array list. That was the important thing to learn in this problem. So if you've liked that, please like and subscribe. And I've got a lot of these uh, practice it problems on my channel.